What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Des. It's your boy, Aaron. And we are back with another Mother Loving video. So as you guys can tell from the title of this video, we are doing the, um, it's a seafood boil and we are trying the new B-Love Smackalicious sauce. Smackalicious. Um, <laughs> so we have crab legs, we don't have that many crab legs. We got corn, um, colossal shrimp, large shrimp, sausage, potatoes, lemon, and then this one is the B-Love sauce, exactly how she made it. And this one I added um, lemon, Brown sugar. Lemon, brown sugar, and slap your mama. So that is the one that I'm gonna try both, but I added that one for me, you know. So um let's get into this packaging. So this is super cute. So she got her face up top. I don't know if you guys can see it. She has her face on there, and then it says B Love's Life. What's up, my B Love Least? Smack delicious sauce. And then this is the spicy version, and then she says she's gonna be coming out with a um medium. Yeah, I think it's medium. So I got this on Amazon. And I think it was twenty four ninety nine, if I'm not mistaken. For some seasoning. Hush. Yay. <laughs> so um, she said that you can use this up to four times, but I literally only use. I made like four of these bowls, and I still have this much left. So I think you can use it a lot more than four times. Um, and then it all depends on what you add to it too, because so the ingredients on the back is basically you're supposed to add butter, four sticks of butter, um, a half sweet onion, three, four cups of minced garlic, three, four cups of pickled ginger, one pouch of the smackalicious sauce. So that's if you use this entire thing, a cup of chicken broth or water, four ounces of Coke and one tablespoon of vinegar. So I used all of that. Um, this one has Coke in it and this one does not have Coke. And then, um, yeah, I put all of that in there, but I put more water than I put chicken broth. Without further ado, we're going to get into this video. Dessert. And we're going to get to taste it and see how it tastes. So Man. I'm going to try corn first because y'all know I love corn. You're going to try this. You're supposed to try it in the sauce. Mm. Mm. This is good. That corn sounds good. It got a little, um, huh? you want to taste it at the same time? Yeah, it's okay. a little far away. You gotta smack when you eat. Because it's smack of this is right, so it's only right. Mm hmm It's good. Mm-hmm. It's real good. It don't taste nothing how if you try to make the B Love sauce that she gave you the ingredients to on YouTube, it says nothing like that. So if you're thinking that it says like that and you didn't buy it because of that, buy it because it tastes totally different. It's not too spicy either, y'all. So. No, it's not. I mean, don't be scared by saying it's spicy. It's not spicy at all, can we? You didn't got a little kick to it? I don't think so. Yeah, not for real. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Okay, now try mine. Can I double dip my shrimp? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't care. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I'm not one of them people that be like, mm mm, don't dip it up in my stuff, don't drink out my stuff. Mm mm, that's not me. <laughs> Even though it's probably nasty, but. I'm sure my mouth done been on nastier things than that. Them silverware and cups and stuff that's in restaurants, you don't know who mouth done been in. So, I don't be caring. I just eat it and drink it. Yours is more sweet. I mm -hmm. think I like it more on the sweet side though. Yeah. So like, beef levels is good, just add the sugar. Brown sugar. The brown sugar. But the Coke don't, I don't know. It don't taste like Coke is in it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it to you? No, not for real. Maybe you gotta like cook it in there longer or something. Maybe, I don't know. You gotta reduce it. <laughs> so, do you think this smack delicious or no? Mm hmm. It live up to his name. Can you hear me smack him? I hear you, I hear you. It's good. <laughs> All right, guys, so we had a little break and now we have some special guests. We have. It's Dewey. Morgan. And 
we're doing our seafood boil still. They have their seafood boil, and we are going to just now choose the topic to talk about. And um, yeah, we're gonna talk and eat, and you know all that good stuff. So I guess first we can just eat a little bit more. So and what then, we got here? What's the sauce again? This one is a sweet one, and then that one is a regular one. That's the be love smack. Like, you know, I don't like spicy. Y'all said it wasn't spicy, but I'm gonna try it's this out. Let's see what it is. Okay, if you say that, then be the test. The sweet one? Yeah, that's the sweet one. Oh, that's good. And then tell me which one you like better, sweet or the other one. Ooh, that's spicy. It's not. Ooh. If you don't like spice, let me tell you. <laughs> I just got real onions in it. Uh -huh. Both of them. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> I'm sweet good. onions, too, boy. They good. Yeah, so my... My extra opinion on the sauces. Mm -hmm. I will say the sweet one is nice to add another depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. Now this one right here, I feel like it's a little bland. Like I, it needs a little bit more like salt. Uh -huh. Cause I don't like it's like more spicy than anything. So if you mm -hmm. like spicy, you gonna like that. But I feel me, you know, being a African American male, I need a little yeah. more seasoning. Not African American male. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Morgan, what you think? You quiet over there? Um, I don't know. Yeah. So talk about what you like first. You okay, have. let me try the soup when I haven't tried the soup. There you go. Oh, these are nice sized potatoes. Aaron talking about these are small potatoes. No, no, no they smaller. Usually, yeah, we usually no, use, use big ones. Okay, the whole ones. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no. Like the red potatoes. Right, so. and I usually just cut them up. Mm -hmm. So like in half. Oh, dirty. These will cost a little bit more yeah, money. Try the uh, boiled eggs. No, I should have made those. You like boiled eggs? Yeah, I like. No, I tried it. I didn't like it. You like it? Yeah. Oh dang. I don't like boiled eggs though. Oh dang! I should have made y'all some. I don't like boiled eggs. So, so shockingly, I think I like the sweet one better. Okay, okay. That's what you want to. That's mm -hmm. what you want smacks. That's what we got. Y'all know the Chef spicy D. one is more so just spicy. Mhm. Mm it's not that much flavor, just spicy. And that's what Maybe. I think the um like the coke is for. Mhm. Mm okay. I think it's supposed to add a, some sweetness, so you got to put enough in there. Mm -hmm. okay. the good. I have put a lot, but I didn't want to put too much because I'm like, it's cold. It's <laughs> like, you don't want to yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like, especially because I'm, I'm not one of the people that just you know can just cook with stuff and know exactly how it's supposed to say. Oh, I'm just gonna add ginger to this and it's right. gonna be good. I don't know how half of the stuff tastes, so you gotta have a nice blend. Like, so I guess if you want the salt. Like these sausages do come in good handy. So like mm -hmm. you can eat it with something else to add, you know, the mm -hmm. the little flavor to it. I'm gonna eat this with potato. Did you eat some garlic? Just ate one. Oh, I didn't see. Yeah. All right, guys. So the topic I think we're going to talk about is the difference between growing up on love or survival. So I'm sure y'all like heard a lot of people like there's a difference between like people that were raised on, you know, learning how to survive versus actually, I'm not gonna say that you wasn't loved because you still are loved, but it's just a different type of love. Like it's a, it's a love like, look, I'm teaching you how to make it through the world versus kind of like sheltering you or keeping your eyes closed to certain situations. Right, it's more about what you uh, need instead of what you want. You know exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So, who want to start? Um. You want to start? <laughs> 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 Do you start? Well, I mean, I mean, it's it's pros and cons to both. Mm -hmm. I mean, like if you want a household where you need to survive off of, you know, just survival. Mm -hmm. It's different because, like, um. As a child, you really don't understand the survival aspect until you get older. Exactly. Like, I mean, it's more of a struggle, mm -hmm. like your stuff you didn't have as a child. Right. But then right. when you look back at your life, you like. We'll move that over a little bit, man. You like, you know, you my parents had to do that for a reason. Your favorite child. Just in your face, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, you know, my parents had to do that for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's not because, you know, everything I want. I mean, I may have wanted, you know, that toy car or I may have, you know, wanted, you know, another little brother. But mm -hmm. my parents couldn't do that at the time. Like, mm -hmm. if they did that, then I would have to go more without. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then on the other flip side, you know, with a family with love, the benefits of that is, I mean, 
you always feel like you have that family. You have mm -hmm. somebody to come to and talk to. Mm -hmm. Whereas for people who don't have it, you know, they're more sheltered and they right. want to so. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, the counter effect of that is like, you be dependent on people and then mm -hmm. when you get actually into the real world, you right. are too trusting. And right. Then, That's why I think it's like for kids growing up or even raising kids, like I think it's, it's good to have that balance. Like, right. because there are certain situations where kids are raised on survival and it's like a negative, like, aspect of their life like it's like oh you need to learn how to take care of your siblings and you need to learn how to do this and you go on grocery shopping for yourself because your mom is not there like you actually are learning at a young age to take care of yourself whereas if you grow up in a loving household it's like if you got that mixture then you still can be you know okay like you won't necessarily have to depend on people because you know look yeah i got my family there but i still want to be only dependent on myself not you know, having my hand out asking right. people for whatever. I don't know, but I think like, like you said, it's pros and cons to both. But I think like, even like we're growing up on survival, like it, sometimes it hinders people because it's like, I had to grow up so young. Now I want to be a kid, even though you an adult. So you like, I don't know, necessarily are not an adult. You don't act as an adult. Right. You or still like want to be a child. To, right, you're trying to live through that, you know, yeah. some of the mm -hmm. things you didn't get to Or sometimes, people like that, they'll start to live through their kids, which yeah. also becomes, like, negative. When you think about it, though, like, the thing with kids that always had things they wanted, mm -hmm. happen when they get older. Like, you know, now you're in a world where you already had everything you wanted. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to compensate for that? Right. You know what I mean? Now are you just always trying to find that mm -hmm. pleasure? Or but I think, like, love can be... Dip? I don't know because okay, so I would say for my situation, I think I was like I grew up on love, and but I was always always taught responsibilities as well. But like, like I know my family like they got my back period, but I'm not one of those. Like I always got what I wanted, but I was never like a bratty like oh I gotta have it like mm -hmm. I never been like that. And then like me growing up, I always knew that. You know, I had to be independent and do stuff on my own. Like, I know my family can help me if I need it, but I'm not the type that want to ask for help. Depend on them, right? Yeah. Right. You want to so, that you can handle your own. I, you know, I, I don't know. It varies depending on the situation. I mean, same thing with me. I mean, I feel like I grew up on love. Mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up on a lot on, on need. And mm -hmm. then I, I make sure of both. Mm -hmm. But in certain aspects, it hurt me and it helped me. Mm -hmm. I mean, like... Me and myself, I'm always uh, more of a, a trusting person. I mm -hmm. was at the point, mm -hmm. and you know. So you like put your trust in? I put my trust in people. You know, like because like I always thought that how I always thought of how I would handle a situation, mm -hmm. whereas instead of how they would. So like mm -hmm. I always thought this is how you know this should be handled. So that's how they're going to handle it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that kind of hurt me in the real world because you know people aren't going to always act how you think they're going. to And that's exactly how I am. Like I put my trust into so many people, and I. I'm always like, oh, I feel so bad, and I want to do this, and I want to help, and I want to do this, and I always just think the best of people, when in reality, they just screw me over, and they just be like, oh, why did I even trust in you? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, why? I shouldn't have even believed in you. Right, yeah. but, but I'm trying to be Miss Nice Guy, Nice Woman, whatever. <laughs> but what I'm saying about it is, don't let that affect you, I mean, because, mm -hmm. like, you are who you are. You, right. Like, if that's your personality, that's how you act, you don't, you shouldn't mm -hmm. change that. I mean, that's on them. Right. Karma is going to come back. It's just hard, like, I don't know, because it, and then, like, some people be like, oh, well, you should just, you know, like, just stop doing for that person. But, like, when you're doing for somebody, especially, like, a family member or somebody that you love and care for, it's hard to just cut that off. Like, yeah. especially when your feelings are involved. Like, I don't want nobody to be down and out. Like, exactly. so if I've been helping you, even though you've been taking advantage of me, like, I still feel like it's my obligation to I'm help you. And it's like, really not my obligation. At the end of the day, my mindset is that, like, do you deserve that, though? Mm-hmm. It's like, what's your worth? And a lot of people's mindset is like that, but I can't wrap my mind to be mm -hmm. like that. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, but that's I more so mm -hmm. who I am. Like, mm -hmm. I'm more so like, well, what about me? Mm -hmm. Like, I treat you how I want to be treated. Right. About me. But a lot of people, like, for me, I'm always the last resort. Like, I don't, I think about everybody else before I think about me. Mm -hmm. So, I can never be like, oh, well, you treat me this way, so I'm going to treat you that way. Like, I don't know. I can't be that person. I always try to be, I don't know. What you got to say? <laughs> you quiet. Y'all had the conversation. You quiet. What's your input? What you think? What you think about growing up on Love and Survivor? 
first, I, I don't know, like, saying, like, love is, like, like, growing up on love, I feel like that, that, that that's, like, It's not too, the right like, word? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think. But, right. I'm with you, because everybody yeah. is love. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, everybody is so love. It's just it a down. different what form of love? love. So, let's break it down. So, mm -hmm. when you so say you raised on love and survival, what do you mean? So, I think of it when you ask that question, survival, like, just hypothetically speaking, I was put in a position where both of my parents weren't there. One parent mm -hmm. was out doing, working two jobs at a time, mm -hmm. and I didn't have a father. And that's what mm -hmm. I take survival from. And right. me stepping up, having to take care of my big, my little brother. Mm -hmm. Don't have one, but just saying. Right. And then versus love, love unconditionally, getting everything that you want, mm -hmm. but also being sheltered to the point that you really don't know what your parents are struggling with. Right. So, so like I can say for me, there were times that my mom says that, oh wait, I look at it as being raised as a child or being raised as an adult. Okay. A child being raised as an adult. I feel like I was raised as a child. Like my mom said there were times where we were struggling, where light bills couldn't get paid and stuff like that. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. I never knew the struggle at all. Like I've never seen it in my life to the point where now like I fear to have to see a struggle. Like mm -hmm. I never want to see a struggle. I never right. want to come across it because I've never experienced it. Right. Whereas some people, they know the struggle. They know everything that their parents went through. Mm -hmm. They know when them lights was cut off. They know when they was cut back on. They mm -hmm. know when that water bill was due. Yep. Like some kids know that stuff. Me, I couldn't <clears throat> tell you none of that. So it's like, like love and shelter. So I feel like love yeah. and shelter go hand to hand and being an adult at a young age. And, mm -hmm. and um, what was your name? Love and Love and survival. Survival. <laughs> I was confused. Like what? <laughs> Where is she going? Right. <laughs> exactly. So there we go. Like you know, having to grow up at a young age and mm -hmm. surviving for your family to let them know, like we good. We just gotta keep pushing through. Right. Mm -hmm. And not that nothing is wrong with it because those situations can, growing up on survival, that can teach you to be a better adult. Mm -hmm. Even though it starts you up early, it can teach you to be a better adult. But sometimes it can also hinder your like mental state because like okay say for instance if your mom is going through stuff and it can be just her and a man going through stuff if you are one of those kids that's built on survival like you know all the business you know that they going through it you know that their relationship ain't tight you know the bills not getting paid you know all that stuff so that can like hinder your mindset as an adult like oh i'm not gonna trust people mm -hmm. i'm not gonna put my all into no relationship because it's not gonna work out mm -hmm. if you don't see marriage in your families then you will be like one of them ones, oh, I'm never going to get married. Mm -hmm. My mom never got married, so I'm never going to get married. Like, you know, just, just stuff like that. So, I don't know. I think it's just knowing too much as a child yeah. versus experiencing it. Like, you know, you know the whole side of it. You know all of it before you even got there. But it's more kind of like the uh, aspect of false reality. Like, think about like Santa Claus. You know, as a child, mm -hmm. you're telling your kids, you know, Santa Claus is real. Mm -hmm. And they're so excited. And then one day they figure out it's not. Mm -hmm. And then they're contemplating that, you know, pretty much the life before this was a lie. Mm -hmm. So, like, is it a benefit to knowing the real? Mm -hmm. Or is it a benefit to loving that lie? I mean, it's, it's I don't amazing. know, yeah. I'm saying, like, yeah. Oh, I'm about to because it can, like, right, it can be different for each situation. Like, mm -hmm. me personally, I feel like I will hide it from my kids. Like, I struggle, think so too. I me too. Hide it. Because I feel like it. That's a lot for a kid, like because then they get to stress them mm -hmm. and they wondering, well, how are we gonna pay the bills? Like, mm -hmm. what do I gotta do to help mommy? Like, exactly. and I don't think that's they, they that should be their responsibility. See, that's mm -hmm. not their like. Should, they shouldn't be worrying about that. Yeah. Like, I don't know. True. Cause but, they start to think like, what can I, I mean, do? What can I? But do? stuff like that, be be out of it's out of the parents, you know. Exactly, like yeah, it's yeah. the real, it's the real but, world. I mean, in the day, yeah, like, yeah, and no, because majority of people but, like, have I'm that sure, struggle, though. Uh -huh. like, I'm sure they're gonna struggle. They like don't want to like raise their kids, you know, as trying to survive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, but like, I'm oh, so sorry. I feel like it is important though. Survival is important, mm -hmm. like, cause I, I don't, I don't know, like. If you were raised on survival, you're going to do whatever it takes to figure it out mm -hmm. to make sure that you do not have to reach that mm -hmm. versus being sheltered and just love. Like, I feel like being loved and sheltered, you're forced to go to your loved ones like, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Like, I Yeah, and no go because I'm not like that. Like, I'm one of them ones where I will do whatever it takes mm -hmm. to not reach rock bottom. Mm -hmm. okay. But, I don't know. It's different people in each situation and they gonna yeah. take it you know how they take it but i personally like you say i will keep that away from my kids like i mean like it was even a time when somebody broke into our house 
my mom would not tell us. Like, we did not find out until we was grown. No. She would not tell us until my birthday to our house. All we knew is the police was at our house when we got there. We had to leave and go with the neighbor to the park. Mm -hmm. Like, that was something she never told us. Like, we had jewelry and everything. And we like, Mom, where our necklace go? And stuff like that. You know, you a little kid. You all excited. Like, where our stuff go? And she would not tell us. Like, she never told us. But everything, like, that she felt was for an adult, she wouldn't tell us as kids. Right. But well, I don't know. My mother was telling me stay in the child's place. So at mm -hmm. the end of the day, that's right. what I take it. Like, yeah. why put a stress on your child mm -hmm. if you don't need to? If you right. can figure it out yourself as an adult, why put mm -hmm. your child through it and make your child stress more right. with you? Especially when I feel like you as a parent, you you supposed to like shield your kids from stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's okay to teach them and to let them know that things like this are possible, but don't put them through. Like with me, like um, like I said before, I feel like I I live both spectrums of that, mm -hmm. um, you know, survival and both love. Like, I really never had to deal with, like, any, I mean, like, we had struggled at points where, you know, things I couldn't get, I didn't want, but like, mm -hmm. it was nothing to where, like, I never like, put, put on my house or right, right, right. didn't have mm -hmm. lights or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But I deal with, you know, real, real stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is PG or PG-13 here in this YouTube video. Oh, you can say that. Okay, I deal with real shit. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, I, I seen, People get killed. Mm -hmm. My house got shot up. I mean, I lived in the hood, but like I lived, you know, we lived comfortably. Right. I mean, my parents still love me. They gave me the best and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. I needed to be. But like, I, I appreciate the realness of my life. I, mm -hmm. I'm not going to fault my parents for things that slipped through the cracks because mm -hmm. that made me who I am. Right. I mean, I was naive to a point, but because of those real moments, I know mm -hmm. what to expect. Right. And I know what to bring down to my children. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because then too, you can look at it like, okay, so you one of those people that's like, I, like I seen it and I learned from it, I built from it. Right. There are some people who live that life and feel like that's the only life that they can They're live. They're trapped. Yeah. Right. So they think, oh, my mom been on, you know, the government assistance, I'm building government assistance. Right. Mm -hmm. My mama don't pay her bills, I ain't paying my bills. My mama don't work, I don't work. Like, you know, like some people have those mindsets to where they like, um, like this is my life. This is they all that I know. Yeah. I'm, that. That, I'm hoping that that cycle is going to be broken by, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, the evolution of social media. Because you know, back in the past, um, when you were stuck in your location, like you were stuck there, mm -hmm. you really didn't know information. Right. Only information you knew was from the news mm -hmm. that you actually could see on TV. Now it's more accessible to see those you know different forms of people mm -hmm. breaking out the hood or learning other things. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you know, now at this point in time. I mean, I'm not saying that you still are part of your environment, but you have more resources to get you out of those things. But you have to be the one who wants to get out of it. Yeah. Yeah. And some people don't want that. Like, some people like that situation, so they don't... I mean, that's just like, okay, how like me and Aaron, we want to move out of state. Mm -hmm. People who don't want to go out of state, like, y'all, y'all don't want to move out of state. And that's just like... We both, we we all exposed to the same thing. Like, we know that's an opportunity. You can do it whenever you feel like doing it. But it's just some people who, I don't want to never move. So I'm not going to move. And then there's people who like, you know what? It's better stuff out there. I'm gone. Right. So, I don't know. I guess, like we said before, every situation, it all depends on the person. Mm -hmm. When it comes to that, I feel like you have to have that other person in your corner to think the opposite of mm -hmm. you and help you shed light right. for the reason why. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, if I'm in the streets and that's all I know is the streets and my friends is in the streets, mm -hmm. I'm going to be comfortable with staying in the right. streets. But if you meet that special someone that was like, well, you know, let's travel. Right. Let's do mm -hmm. this on the third. Then they start opening, mm -hmm. you know, opening up and willing and to try more. other things. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's all about who you meet and who you have in your corner in the right. same sense. Because mm -hmm. I would be comfortable too. Mm hmm it's, it's easier to be comfortable than to work hard. Right. And then to get out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Like... I mean, it's, but I think it's different. I mean, well, you know, just for, you know, African Americans in general. I mean, because we've been so oppressed, like, in our history of things. You can think of it kind of like the scarecrow. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a scarecrow out there that scared the birds away. It's there, put there for a reason. It's mm -hmm. there to make sure it's a, it's a figure that somebody's yeah, there watching right. you so that you don't come there. And I feel like that, you know, us as black people being so conditioned that from change that we are scared to go do different things uh -huh. or different uh enjoy different things in our life because we feel like we can't because mm -hmm. it's something scary and it's different it's new and we feel like we get out of our comfort zone it's going to hurt us mm -hmm. and but i think that that can also be uh 
like one downfall by being raised on survival and not to say like i mean because you don't want to knock nobody's parenting in certain situations i mean parents get into situations that they in them situations and at that point they can't do anything about it you know like so it's times where like people hit hard times so you can't knock nobody's parenting or nothing like that but when you're built on survival you don't get to experience different things that people are able to that's you know all right so look Look, as we've been talking and y'all been saying the pros and cons of each, it all falls down to financial, uh, you know. Abilities. You're right. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> it's like growing up in a working home, growing up in a struggling home as opposed to growing up in a household where things are taken care of. But you're not worried about bills and things of mm -hmm. that such. Like... Like like that type of problem, I mean, like that type of person problem lies like in like other different things as far as like bullied in school or mm -hmm. like or like some other things like that. It literally has nothing you know to do uh, with you know money or anything of that nature. Uh, mm -hmm. So like growing up struggling, like it make you like grow up faster. Like mm -hmm. as far as like intellectual, like so. Do you, you think that's me? a good or a bad thing? I mean, both. Yeah, like it's out of yeah, like so, like you just either gotta be the one to be born into this or be born into that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So like, and then like I said, I think it's all like you have to have that mindset of I'm gonna go get it and I'm getting out of here. Like, cause not all people are willing to do that. So growing up in that struggle, like, kind of put a hold on their life. Like, it do. Because they don't like, know they anything be, else. Like, 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 but they be older, like mentally. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. but, but as far as like, like what you've done in your life and what right. you acquired it's like in your a child. life, it's slower. Yeah. yeah like, uh -huh. so like, like they don't like, have that that motive or like they not they not like motivated on their own or determined to go out and do better because doing better to them could be working at a gas station. Oh, I got a job. Mm -hmm. Like. I'm making twelve dollars an hour. I'm doing good. Whereas somebody else could be like, "Look, I'm making twelve dollars an hour, and I'm trying to get to twenty. I'm trying to get to twenty-five. Like this twelve ain't doing nothing no, for me. That's just a step. No, but in reality, right. like, That's like when I was step. like first, like, uh, you know, in the working environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I was starting off as a waiter. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was making what like two eighty-five an hour plus tips. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, but what I can say that deal with built character in me. Because, mm -hmm. like, I was always mostly, like, an introvert. So, like, I wasn't mm -hmm. outgoing and things like that. Mm -hmm. But it helped me be able to speak to people, be able to talk to certain environments, deal with mm -hmm. changes on the spot at that time. And that helped me progress in the career that I wanted to go in the future. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's all based on, I mean, I feel like everybody has a moment in their life where things, like, click good or bad. Like, either mm -hmm. you, there's going to be a point in the side where you're going to go this way or you're going to go that way. Right. So, I mean, you just got to take that moment and it's on that person. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a flip of a coin for real. Right. Depending on what environment you're in, it's really a flip of a coin. Right. So, do you think, like, in a like balance in a relationship, do you think that it would be beneficial to have somebody who grew up on survival and somebody who grew up on love, or do you think that it should be like two survival and two love? I think it's about. I think it's about both because mm -hmm. I would say that because like I was more so raised on love, which made me. I wouldn't say careless, but careless at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that I'm going to be fine regardless. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, if I miss that bill, I'm going to be fine. I'll figure mm -hmm. it out. Versus somebody that was raised up on the struggle, they're like, no, it needs to be paid. And mm -hmm. no, you need to not do this. Mm -hmm. You don't need to get your nails done. This mm -hmm. needs to be paid. And it's like, it just makes you sit back and realize, like, mm -hmm. yeah, because you're right. You know? Right. So I feel like it is a great to have both. But it could be different because people can be on survival. survival and not pay their bills. Right, exactly. Like, like, like that, thing. like they could be money mm -hmm. mis mismanaging the money. You right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or they're so used to people not knowing how to do certain things to where they had to, they had to be in a survival mode because it was always everything was mismanaged. Mm -hmm. So then they kept those same traits up. They're like now they're doing buying, you know, nails and stuff where mm -hmm. they need to get their bills paid or get food on the table. You know, right. they don't have their priorities mm -hmm. right. I mean, it all depends. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Like I mean. But being in a relationship, you have to be able to compromise, mm -hmm. be able to empathize with your partner. Mm -hmm. and, and be open. And mm -hmm. understand that balance or understand mm -hmm. that background. Mm -hmm. Like, 
nobody i don't care if you was grew if you grew up on the love or you grew up on the survival nobody's life was the same so but your background your environment has made you made you who you are so being able to understand your background and your life story and being able to cope with it and even dealing with certain situations that you not certain situations but certain like personality traits i would say mm -hmm. because like i don't know like i think the like of course your uh um what is it called what? <laughs> <laughs> i can't remember um you saw personality traits yeah what is the thing called you a oh a product of your environment yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you're a product of your environment so it's just like I think it should be both. Yeah, I mean, you have, you have a little bit of both. You should be able to know how to survive and to be able to know how to love. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you need to be able to. Not everybody not, knows. Not survive, not to survive to love, but <laughs> to love, to, I mean, survive and just to love. But you need to be able to love. Mm -hmm. And that love needs to be able to be your survival. Mm -hmm. I mean, you need not to like be trying to fight so hard everybody else that you forget and neglect yourself and the mm -hmm. people that you love because mm -hmm. i think like a lot of times when people are surviving so much that they're forgetting about like i still have to come home mm -hmm. like i mean you can be at work and things can be stressful you can mm -hmm. be out working on these jobs but at the end of the day you still come home mm -hmm. you gotta have somewhere to lay right so like if you still neglecting that mm -hmm. then that means you struggling at work and at mm -hmm. home and that ain't gonna work right you know what mm -hmm. i mean because then that home is pretty much the center of your life like if pretty much everything's good at home, nothing else is gonna make a difference outside. Right. You leave mm -hmm. that somewhere else. Right. But I mean that all, like you said, it's a product of your environment. Mm -hmm. So if you were raised like that at home, if you can actually be able to do to survive the struggles of the real world. Mm -hmm. But you gotta learn that from a young age, and I mean a lot of people aren't doing that. Right. Yeah. So what you think? As far as like the relationship, the relationship. aspect, mm -hmm. I mean balance is always the best. The best mm -hmm. way. So. Of course, I say you need one from this side and mm -hmm. one from the other side. You know, just to, because I'm going to teach you things, like from the way, like that I got it, mm -hmm. and then uh, you able to show me things from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, balance is always key, mm -hmm. like, yeah. like in anything. So, like I wouldn't say that I want just all, <clears throat> all like you know, like everything was good when in your was life type thing, right? right. So like. I don't know, like, I want to touch back on, just like, you know, alright, so growing up, I don't want to talk about race, but like, growing up, like, like, black and white, okay, uh, like, with white people, like, um, like, they don't believe, like, they deserve, you know, men to be poor, mm -hmm. like, so, like, they don't grow up, like, thinking about, like, man, I'm gonna have to, you know, struggle and mm -hmm. worry about this, worry about that, like, right. like like that's never in their head so mm -hmm. like like that type of person but their life is going to be like completely different mm -hmm. like they're always going for the best job but they're mm -hmm. not you know they so it's like like then on the other end you know because like like since stuff been going on for so long like now it's just like like you're born into it so it's like that's all you know at that point so mm -hmm. like now you like, all right, yeah, man, I'm gonna get this job at McDonald's. I'm gonna get this mm -hmm. job here, you know, just to make a couple of dollars. Like, mm -hmm. they're not even looking past that. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. so it's a complete, like, difference. Like, once I, like, feel like I'm gonna have the best life, like, no matter mm -hmm. what. But then the other side is now, now like, you working towards, mm -hmm. towards having this better life. So, mm -hmm. like, like, you feel like you have to struggle to get to that life. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. But then that's where like you know like generational curses and stuff mm -hmm. like come into play and then like breaking them. So it's like now it's up to that person to be like, I don't. I'm better. Yeah, you feel me? Like I'm not gonna go through this. Like I'm not gonna right. go through like what I was born but like, into. 
Right. And then I, I think too, it. like even like how you said about like they're just thinking like, oh, I'm just gonna make a couple dollars now. I'm not really like looking any further. I think that like that's another thing that goes into you know the two differences. It's like that one person how you said they like, oh, my life is gonna be cool. Like I'm gonna be cool. And then the other person's like, I'm trying to live for today. I ain't worried about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like, but living for today can like kind of like hurt your future because it's like you're not planning for the future. You just right. planning for tomorrow mm -hmm. am i gonna make it back to mcdonald's tomorrow mm -hmm. not where my career gonna be at in five years where my career gonna be at in 10 years where do i want to be in my life how much money do i want to touch like mm -hmm. you know stuff like that so it's just like yeah you're trying to make that dollar and you're trying to make ends meet for the time being but how can you set your life up to where you never have to get back to that position right. you never have to start counting your coins and look i'm gonna have to pay the water bill this month and then i pay electric ne electric next month like so how do you set yourself up to say look i'm stuck right now i'm in a bond right now but how am i gonna get out of this bond and stay out of the bond yeah, i think that's up so, to like you know our generation because mm -hmm. like a lot of things happen to where in uh, prior generations in our community mm -hmm. where information wasn't passed down. Right. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, other racial communities, like, they mm -hmm. are taught certain things, you know, about credit, mm -hmm. about ownership, mm -hmm. about, you know, financial things, yes. to whereas mm -hmm. we don't know about that. So when right. we actually get to the real world and we learn that we not only got to pay, you know, our state and federal taxes, we already got to pay our regional. Mm -hmm. You don't know about that in school. Right. Like, but in they schools, you know, they mm -hmm. have followed financial mm -hmm. courses in high school. Mm -hmm. Do you got it? Mm -hmm. I ain't had that. Nope. I ain't know about none of that. Nope. So like it's, it's all based off of do mm -hmm. you have that support system that's willing to teach you that or are you that type of person to go out and gain and that information it. on your own? Mm -hmm. Basically yeah. knowing your self worth. Like yeah. are you okay with going to McDonald's flipping burgers or do you want to go to McDonald's right. and right. flip burgers and make more of yourself? Mm -hmm. Like granted it does start from somewhere so it's going to start from you flipping those mm -hmm. burgers but do you I think we all flip burgers do you I flip burgers <laughs> I flip burgers for you it was a waitress I passed yeah. the plate <laughs> I worked right at Wendy's where you work at babe McDonald's yeah Harry yeah. taking that far yeah the west side you gotta yeah, make no, it happen. I, I do feel like it is about knowing your self worth because mm -hmm. I was comfortable at a at a point like I'm comfortable with going to work, answering phones, and leaving. That was mm -hmm. just my gig. But it's like knowing your self worth. You have to do that plus more. Show that you're mm -hmm. worth more, right. and they need to pay you more. Like once you know what you're worth, I feel like then that's all you need mm -hmm. is self worth. Like you need to know. Yeah, I don't know. I've always been big or like I'm always the type of person where like. I'm planning for the future. Whether that's today is Sunday and I'm planning for next next Friday. Mm -hmm. Like I want to plan for the future. I want to worry about stuff that's going to happen in the future. Like I don't. Yeah, tomorrow's coming. And I'm worried about tomorrow. I got stuff planned for tomorrow. But the stuff that's planned for tomorrow is what I planned last mm -hmm. week. Like right. you know, like I always try to like stay one step ahead because I feel like when you one step ahead, when it's time for you to fall, you still one step ahead. Like mm -hmm. you always gonna at least be on top of it a little more than you would have been if you just lagged and you yeah, just wasn't cool really worried about it. Right. Yeah, and then like. Like you said, like you gotta start somewhere. Flipping burgers is perfectly fine, but that's when you look at yourself and you be like, "Look, this ain't." Gonna I last know what I'm longer. worth, and exactly. I know me flipping these burgers exactly. is not what I'm worth. Even with like having a good job, because I mean, I feel like we all got decent jobs. Like we living comfortably, doing mm -hmm. what we want to do, vacationing when we want to. But I know for me, I'm like, okay, when is more coming? Exactly. Like right. this ain't enough. Exactly. How long you think I'm be doing this for this amount of money? I need more. Mm -hmm. Like. So I don't know. You just got to be that person where you want to break those generational curses and you want to, you know, do better and be better. Because so. you are better. Exactly. And then the moment that you sit back and realize that you are better, you will be better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's all, you know, based on perspective. I mean, because like a uh, little to you can be a lot to somebody. Mm -hmm. You can be Boys. comfortable. You know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. Like it's all based on your own personal aspects. So right. don't get... We know what we're saying as this is something that you mm -hmm. need to do. Right. I mean, because it, you know who you are. Mm -hmm. Your family know who you are. Your lovers right. know who you are. So you know where you're going. Mm -hmm. You got to figure out what is the best for you and where should you be in your life. Right. If you're comfortable in what you are doing right now, then do that. Mm -hmm. But not all comfortable is not always the best. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I always say that I ain't doing good until I'm uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I if I'm uncomfortable then I know I'm doing something with myself I'm moving further I'm stepping out of my comfort zone because that's like where a lot of people mess up we're in relationships anything like you doing it for the convenience you doing it because you're comfortable and you're too scared to take that step further like I feel like you're not doing nothing if you're not uncomfortable you have to be uncomfortable at least once in your life to you know to succeed like you have to I don't know like I feel like you need that uncomfortable space 
in order to move further if that's what you want to do because you everybody yeah, don't want to do further. whatever you can to overcome that yeah. uncomfortable mm -hmm. feeling so i agree yeah <clears throat> what you think here i think it's time to wrap it up yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was right oh yeah, wrap it up I'm dead. <laughs> this man was writing notes. All right, no, guys. But I really did think that this was a good conversation. Make sure you comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Um, you can even share stories if you want to. Um, my Instagram is down below. So if you want to DM, DM me your stories, we can do like a um, viewer topic if you guys want to in the next video. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Morgan and Doobie, for joining us. And you know your boy A, he always in the videos. <laughs> so yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and um, so that you're notified each and every time that your girl drops a video and we are checking out. And you just called and said, come get me. I know I shouldn't drink and drive. But I just want.